Welcome back gamers. So the next boss fight is the Shadows of Yarnum, which is three bosses, three mobs with specific abilities. Now as you can see this battle, I am at a low level, so it is much harder for me to do the battle. I have to fight it out and also use the map to my advantage. Each three individual mob has their own special attack, so it's very important to utilize the map to your full advantage because one uses magic and projectile. There are two tombstones that you can use to block the projectiles in this map. A giant one that you can go around on, and some small ones on the side, but it's pretty dangerous to be around this one because you can still get hit by the magic. Now, the boss fight... Now, each of the bosses has their own technique and pretty much their own skill set. The katana one will chase you and use his katana the entire time slashing at you, so you have to dodge that. He's really quick, he's going to keep coming towards you, and he's going to chase you non-stop, and could probably be the hardest one to dodge. The other one has a torch and a katana. He'll use the katana and spend his time using the little torch to do a flamethrower move on you, and that's pretty dangerous too because the flamethrower will be constant, and once it hits you, you're pretty much dead. The one with the fireball and the mace in his hand is the magic caster and he's pretty much really slow the entire time. He'll walk around the entire time and shoot lock on fireballs at you and the best thing you can do is use the tombstone to line of sight it or to actually dodge it. If you get hit by it, all three fireballs, you're also pretty much dead. So the secret to the fight is to pretty much choose one of the mobs to take down. Probably the easiest one to take down, no doubt is the magic caster. If you run the other two around and go back to the magic caster you'll have no problem. But the big issue here is you'll have the katana one alive and he's really dangerous because what's gonna happen is when you get them down to a quarter of their health their move sets change again. The katana one will start flinging his katana out. Basically basically he'll extend his basically he'll extend his katana a few feet and try to hit you poking at you non-stop. He'll also send it to the ground. The one with the torch and the katana will also do the same thing by sending it out, but at the same time his katana will be on fire. And the magic caster, if kept alive, will start shooting fireballs into the sky. Now the change up animations on their moveset happens when they have snake shooting out of their chest, and this happens when you get one of them down to low health. So all of our movesets will change at the same time, not just one guy. So think of it as one being. If you want to make the fight easier, you can however get some health down on the other ones just so that you even it out a bit before you take down the one that you want to aim for. The fight was really hard for me and I know you can also do some visceral attack if you manage to get a stab on one of them or interrupt them with a gun. Other than that, the best way to do it is choose one, take it down and see what's easier for you and start dodging because D dodges is the key to this fight. Now when you're down to a certain amount of mobs left, the Shadow of Yarnum will start summoning snakes from the ground. When that happens, it is completely deadly. The snakes will come up from the ground and start zooming in on you. Basically, giant snakes come up from the ground, they either hit you if you're standing still in one place, hiding, or will come up from the ground and zoom in on you and then hit you from across the screen. So you have to start dodging and watching out for snake heads. At this time, you should have killed the boss and done as much damage as you can because if you don't stop them, then you'll get killed. The cool thing about this fight is if you get a boss into a corner, you can actually get him down and interrupt his attack and get as much damage in as possible. Anyways, depending on which mob you want to prioritize and take him down, will make this fight much easier for you. So whatever you can dodge, go with that and aim for the mob that you want to take down. That is the most troublesome. Either the katana or the spellcaster. Those two are the most dangerous ones. Anyways guys, I hope this video helped you out on the battle on what I did. I decided to take down the katana guy first. He's my nuisance and I switched out between weapons. This was a really hard battle. Um, but this is my strategy for it and I've tested it twice. It worked out okay, so a few deaths here and there, but other than that, it is pretty good if you get it down right. It's a hard strategy, but it works and it makes the fight a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps you out. Game on. Remember to subscribe, rate up, and check out the other strategy guys.